Okay, so we are looking at um, Unit 10, Lesson 7, the reading on the history of the Internet. History of the Internet. Question. Who invented the Internet? Answer. The Internet was not invented. It evolved. The evolution involved many inventions and innovations, as well as a large number of people. Many of the people involved in the early days were graduate students at universities. Some of them are big names in technology today. For a list, click here. Question. How did the Internet evolve? Answer. The story begins after World War II in the 1950s. At that time, the U.S. and the former Soviet Union, USSR, were in what was called the Cold War. It was not an actual war because there was no fighting. However, both governments were very worried that the other side would attack their country. When the USSR sent the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, into space in 1957, the Americans became convinced that the Soviet Union had gained a dangerous advantage over them. For that reason, in 1957, the U.S. government created the Advanced Research Projects Agency, or ARPA. The agency's goal was to regain a military advantage over the Soviet Union. To achieve that goal, ARPA needed the best scientists and engineers to work closely together. They needed to share ideas, large amounts of data, and the computer programs in power to analyze all that data, and they needed to do it fast. However, there was a problem. Computers at that time were not advanced enough for such work. So in 1962, ARPA created the Information Process Techniques Office, IPTO. Its job was to improve computer technology as quickly as possible. Just seven years later, in 1969, computers at four universities were connected to create the world's first wide area computer network, ARPANET. Question. When did the general public start to use the Internet? Answer. Many improvements were made to ARPANET in the 1970s and 1980s, but most of the users still work for research institutions or the government. In 1983, a common language was established as the official language of what was now called the Internet. At that point, networks all over the world could communicate with each other. In 1981, another important year, the first personal computers, PCs, became available. However, it wasn't until 1989 that those first PC owners really discovered the Internet. That was when businesses introduced the first commercial email systems. It was also when the first commercial dial-up internet service provider became available to the public. Suddenly, anyone with a computer and the money to pay the connection fee could go online. In 1991, the U.S. government removed all limitations on commercial use of the internet. Since then, the number of users has grown at an amazing rate. Today, there are more than 1 billion internet users worldwide. Okay.